Greetings, my name is Jay, and welcome to my Kingdom's New Lands Let's Play. Um, the version that I am playing is from GOG, um, just came out today. Uh, it, it's on the computer, obviously, and I'm playing with a PlayStation 4 controller. Um, or just previously, I beat the first uh, scenario of the, uh, of the game, and uh, now I'm going through it for the Let's Play. Um, so... The objective of the game is to build up your kingdom and find this boat. And uh, that spirit right there is a spirit guide basically to show you where the starting location is of the of the game. Um, yeah, so just to show you, um, I started, this is the first map, I've unlocked the archery upgrade. Um, and I'm assuming each place has an upgrade, I'm not entirely certain on that though. Um, and I played over here for a little bit. Uh, yeah, so the, um, the game is basically a strategy simulation, more strategy, um, game where you build a kingdom, you try and build up this, uh, fort, build up your empire, gain citizens like those two people right there, come join the empire. Um, so I'm gonna make one of them an archer, and I'm going to make one of them a builder. And, uh, where is she pointing me to? So, she's pointing me over to here. So, it wants me to build a wall. Okay, so we'll build that wall. And, uh, yeah, so once you find the boat and build it, which costs a lot of gold, uh, you have to get the boat to the dock, and whoever you bring on your boat and the extra money that you have will actually, uh, help you in your quest for the next uh, location for your next kingdom. Um, so basically, let's just build that wall there. Let's try and find out where the bad guys are gonna come from, because they seem to come from the left or the right. Oh, there's the merchant. So uh, let's get him. Welcome to the kingdom. And make a bow for him. So that merchant will come back and forth into our little domain and uh, will give us money in return for us investing in his business. Um, I don't need those two citizens yet. If I travel far enough, there is like uh, one or two chests. Oh, here's the boat that I was talking about. So yeah, that's 10 gold just to get it started and then you have to give it a series of uh, gold for your builders to work on. Um, and they really can only work during the day. Oh, here's a chest. Excellent. Your kingdom's actually not really attacked on the first couple of days. Um, so I do have some free reign in order to uh, go out. This is like the mason's guild, so if I upgrade this, what it'll do is allow me to build um, a better keep and castle. Uh, there are upgrades for that. And uh, this... I believe, redirect citizens to your location? I'm, I don't really know. It might actually direct your boat, I, I don't know. Oh, here is the other chest. Okay, so now that we have both the chests, there should either be, yeah, a town over this way. I just wanna continue going to see if the dock is this way or if the portal is this way. Okay, so the dock is this way. So we're gonna have to get the boat to the east side, let's get the horse to eat some of this uh, this grass. This type of grass is the type that it can graze, and as you can see, its hooves are some shadowy white. That means it's full stamina, and eventually it will start breathing whenever it starts losing stamina. So these guys are pretty safe, so let's get him and him, since there's no portal on this side, to get over back to our kingdom. Um, right, so what was I saying? Um, the archers can kill some of these stags. They can also... Um, oh, this here is the upgrade that I got. If I give this four gold, then what it'll do is it'll highlight one of these three things uh, with like a magic glyph, and it'll increase my accuracy or range, I think, with the archers. That seems to be what it's doing. Oh, and the damage as well. Uh, can I upgrade this even further? No. So I'm just trying to get some of these stags to go back towards where my archer is, so that hopefully they can kill them, because they're worth money. And 
the big pressure point in the early in the game is money for sure. Ooh, there's a third one. Oh, it ran past me. Okay, so we're on day two. So we probably have just this night, and then on the third day, we're probably going to get going to get attacked. Join our kingdom. Welcome to the kingdom. Okay, so hopefully he can kill some of those. Come on, aim better. Nope. Apparently not. Okay, so let's put out two bows. Oh, and will you give us more gold? Yes. Okay, and then we should be able to give him one gold to invest. Now the controls are fairly simple, so I'm just going to upgrade this. Um, using the PlayStation controller, I can either press square or X in order to um, drop a coin. And if I go up to one of these things, I can hold it in order to fill those things up. Um, and if I want to uh, cancel on a menu, it's circle. Um, pretty basic rudimentary controls. Okay, so that's the tower. So I'm going to upgrade that even further so that he has a better vantage point. And let's try and get another archer. So that, oh, there's the gold. So that we can expand our military. Doesn't appear to be any citizens over in that camp. Okay, so how is our builder doing? Okay, let's upgrade this one more time. This will actually put, I believe, two or three people in the tower. Um, and let's upgrade this to be a better wall. And this will be our best early defense for the hordes that come from the portal, which is over to the to the right. And for what I understand, I think you can take out some of the portals, but not until later in the game. Perhaps not in this scenario. I'm not really sure. I've only played the first scenario and a little bit of the second one. Oh, thank you. Okay, so... Uh, I have one bow there. Let's put a second one in there and see if there is... Oh, there's a citizen who's coming. Let's pick up that... Ah, uh, the archer can get it. Oh, welcome to the Empire. And what was our, sig uh, our uh, insignia again? Right, it was the White Stag. So welcome to the White Stag. Alright. Um, I suppose it's as good of a name as any for a for an Empire. With our banner held high. Okay, ooh, you guys got a lot of money. That's fantastic. Okay, so two, and if I upgrade, that's two, five, nine, then this will actually upgrade it to be three in the tower. Oh, I barely have enough money. Okay, so... Um, the merchant should actually give me enough gold. This archer is going into the front, that's good. Actually, let's just upgrade this, because the next upgrade after this will actually allow us to use the money lender, which biggest pain point, as I said earlier, is money issues. Okay, so are you going to give us money? Come on, sir. Your king demands that you give tribute. I suppose he does not care. Oh, I suppose that's all fine. Don't have enough to upgrade that. I should probably upgrade the wall before I upgrade the tower, actually. Just wait until morning. Let's just head on over here to see if there is actually anybody new in the camp. I think the day is what signifies whether or not you can get new um, people at the camps or the merchant coming in and out. I just love the graphics in this game. They're fantastic. The art style is just amazing. Um, I, I can't praise it highly enough. The fog animations, the reflections in the water, the parallax scrolling of the multiple tiers. All of it is great. Oh, I don't have enough money still. Okay, you guys have to... That's my gold back. Do you have any money, sir? No, you do not. So let's tag this for uh, removal. 
probably should let the hunters go do their work. Okay, so there's the money lender. I'm gonna give him two gold, and he'll mosey on about and eventually go in the building and then out. And uh, once he goes out, then uh, let's make this uh, citizen a archer. Because we need uh, definitely the best defenses that our money can afford. Um, right, the money lender, and he'll come out and eventually start gaining us money as we give him money. Okay, so there are little waterfalls, and those waterfalls... Oh, here they are. So it looks like we can build a tower beside it, which is good. Um, the waterfalls build uh, barns, which actually do give us... Um, uh, they they do give us uh, uh, income, so I'm going to have to basically keep my eye open for that. Uh, so let's improve this tower, because we'll probably get attacked tonight. And the attacks, obviously, they only happen during the night, um, and they get stronger and stronger as they go until there's a red moon and there's a really strong attack. Um, and they can attack from both sides, but uh, I think in the first scenario they only attack from the same side continually. Um, this building here is actually a um, siege workshop, uh, I guess is a good name to call it. You can build a catapult from it. Um, you exchange a builder f to become a uh, siege engineer, and uh, he'll man a catapult. Their accuracy and aiming isn't that great. However, the damage that they do is really, really good. And I think their accuracy actually improves over time. I, I don't I don't know for certain, but that my gut tells me that that's what the case is. Um, after have been using them for uh, a couple of uh, a couple of attempts. Okay, so are you gonna give me money, sir? Or do I have to wait? Sounds like I have to wait. Let's try and get the horse to graze on the grass a little bit more to gain its stamina back. Oh, and there's the horde. And it's nice to have the towers on both the sides like that, because uh, you can easily peck away at the horde as they stand safely in their towers. Okay, so, night is almost over. We've survived the... Uh, the first attack, and uh, we'll uh, grab the citizen. Welcome to the Empire, sir. And uh, I think I'm going to make this one a builder, because we only have one builder, but we're going to have to wait until we get money. There we go. Is the money lender going to give us money? I suppose not. Well, let's give him a coin, and then put some money in this, and then invest money in a better tower. Oh, I don't have enough money. Okay. Very well. That's part of the money that I need. Is that? Yep, I think that's five. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Um, Alright, so that's the... Looks like the closest water... Uh, waterfall. So we'll have to build our mill for the farm there. I have some money, so let's give it to him. Any more citizens? Oh, there's one. Welcome to the Empire. Yeah, so if I expand, I could get rid of this and build a farm here, and that's probably actually a safe place to put it. But then I won't get any more citizens, so I won't do that until I have a comfortable amount of, of uh, citizens in my empire. Okay, so, looks like the money lender went inside, so hopefully he'll have some money for me later today. Hopefully. Oh, there he is, never mind, I lied. I just did not see him. Oh, thank you, sirs. Oh, he had a good hunt. Okay, so, let's upgrade this tower. 
So now we'll have two and two. And then, can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. I need six gold, so I'm gonna do that next. Alright, so... I'll have to wait for the merchant to come back, and hopefully the moneylender will accrue some income to give to the Empire. Let's just, uh, graze on the grass over here and gain some stamina back. Oh, what did it shoot at? Well, free money, I suppose. Does he have anything else? He has a dollar. And everybody has their original dollar, basically, that uh, they started with. Um, that's basically their hit point. If they get hit by the horde, then what'll happen is they'll actually... Um, do I have six gold? No, I have four. Um, if they get hit by the horde, they'll actually... Their item will get stolen or their gold will get stolen, uh, depending on, uh, when they get hit. Okay, so... Looks like that citizen doesn't have a job, so let's make him an archer. That should, yep, okay. And are you gonna give us money, sir? I guess I have to wait until morning. Well, let's stand watch and watch the battle from, I guess, from the front lines. Doesn't look like much of an attack tonight, which is great. Give our archers a little bit of a rest. Okay, so two gold, and... You know what, I think I changed my mind, because there's actually a um, wall over here, so I can upgrade this wall and upgrade this tower, and that probably will be really good to defend against uh, the the horde. Oh, there's more money. Um, but I need to make sure that I have the money for all this stuff. So he doesn't look like he has any money. He definitely does. Invest back in his business. Do I have any new citizens first? Looks like there's two new citizens. Welcome to the Empire. Greetings, welcome to the Empire. Let's make them a archer and a builder. Or do I already have two builders? We'll keep one on standby. Um, okay, so thank you. Um... Build this. Um, two, three, four, five, two, four. So six. So not enough. Yeah, I have two builders, so I probably don't need a, a third builder. Um, we'll just make him an archer. I'm not sure where he went. Oh, he's over there. Is money lender ever gonna give me any money? Maybe we should give him more money. There we go. Okay, so I have three gold pieces, and that scene engine does an insane amount of damage, so um, I think upgrading these two things, I have enough money to upgrade this, so I'll do that just in case we get attacked tonight. Um, upgrading the uh, tower to be three archers, and this to be... Um, a, a catapult. Whoa! Good catch, guy. Okay, uh, so let's actually upgrade this. And two gold. So let's go and visit these archers over here to see if they've caught anything. Do you have any money, sir? Thank you. And there's another gold. Perfect. Okay, so this is our new front line. That's signified by that flag. So our archers will actually move up to that front line. I only have three gold, so not enough to do anything with. Do you have any money? Nope. Here comes a merchant again. Do these guys have any money? Apparently not. Do you? No. Oh, they're running 
back to safety. Probably a wise decision. Okay. Stand guard with our citizens. Our military. We'll see if the horde comes tonight. The moon looks normal, so that's good. We probably have like one more night until we have a really bad attack. Oh, here they come. Fire! Good shots. Excellent. We creamed them. Perfect. Okay. So, looks like I have five gold? Yeah. Hmm. Alright, are you gonna give me gold yet, sir? The answer to that question is no. Let's go see if we have a new citizen. Ah, a new citizen. Welcome to the Empire, sir. You are going to be an archer. Because our Empire loves archery. Oh, perfect. Oh, nice. So we'll give him two gold. We'll give him one gold. We are on the sixth day. And what we are going to do is we are going to invest in a siege engine. Because with this stone wall and this uh, two archer tower with the siege engine, we should be able to defend ourselves against the coming hordes. All right, well, that's probably a great place to end the video, so I'll see you next time.